This is the second video tutorial on how to transform a one dart bodice block into another style of strapless princess one bodice which some call a uh, bustige and others call this a tube. Here is a quick illustration of the design that we are going for. I would consider this video as more of a review of the first strapless princess bodice which I have earlier uploaded as it follows the same process on pattern contouring. So if you haven't watched it yet, I highly suggest that you watch it first and then come back to play this video as in that video I have explained in detail the answers to the questions when and how to use pattern couturing in your designs. The link to that video is provided in the description box below. Before we dive into pattern making, let me just tell you that I upload videos every Sunday. So don't forget to check back for new contents. And if you find this video helpful, let me know by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. Place the bodice block on top of the pattern paper and trace around making sure to transfer all markings. It is important that the block that you work on is one that fits you, a dress form or a client. Draw the dart legs to the bust point. From the bust point, mark the empire measurement on both dart legs. Draw a circle using a compass and uh, this circle will actually give us a visual on the position of the bust on the pattern and will help us plot the contour guides. First of the contour guides is the contour guide number 4 because we want a strapless bodice design with a princess line we need to plot a contour guide uh, to remove 3 sixteenths of an inch on both sides of the dart but if you want a tighter fit uh, if you're going for a design with a tighter fit use 3 eighths uh, of an inch on both sides to shape the upper portion of the dart uh, we'll mark 2 inches from the bust point and then we'll blend it to our contour guide number 4. Next is contour guide number 6 and this is to remove any excess above the bust for all strapless designs. So for a dress form with B cup size, the total excess that I need to remove from the pattern measures uh, 1 and 1 eighths. So first I mark 1 fourth on the center front panel and I leave the rest of the measurement to the side panel. Now that we have the major contour guides, we can now draw in our style line. We are now able to mark the last contour guideline which is called the side is and with a standard measurement of half an inch, mark this from the base of the armhole and then blend it to the waist. Do not forget to extend the bust line on the side front panel because this will guide us later on when we are marking the grain line. Now 
Now the pattern is ready for cutting and you will have the center front panel and the side front panel. Since most of the strapless designs call for the use of boning, this curve right here on both panels would need to be increased by 1 fourth of an inch. Blend from the extended bust point down to the 2 inch mark and from the bust point to the top of the panel and cut away any excess paper. And to complete the strapless front bodice pattern, let us mark the green lines on both panels with center front cut on fold. And this is how you transform a one dart bodice block into another style of a strapless princess front bodice.